Hello everybody and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. On the last episode, uh, what did we do? I know we went to Mementos. Oh yeah, we did. We went to Mementos. So we did those requests so that we could raise our confidence a little bit higher. So the doctor is pretty much almost done and so is Jinya. And on top of that, uh, I think I decided I'm going to work for Yuji today since I don't... Yeah, da, 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 da. Get rid of that. And I'm gonna grab one of the uh, Chariot Arcana. These are the paths you have walked. Because if you ask me, once I finish with power. Ryuji, I'm, I'm good. Done already. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just done. What? And then I can worry about ones like on, etc. No from there. Off. That's because Ryuji should be faster. He's at the arcade. Uh, right. What's up? So I've been thinking about what to do with the track team, but I realize I'm not the kind of guy to come up with epic plans that could save the day. So I think I'm just gonna do this one the way I know. Can you come with? Let's go. All right. I know it's a day off and all, but we're heading over to school. They got to be there. Yeah. So I called Nakaoka and Takeshi over here. I'm gonna tell them about what Yamauchi is up to. <laughs> what if they start fighting? <laughs> you probably didn't realize, but I recorded Yamauchi's whole combo back at the Mojo shop. I'm a genius, I know. Anyways, uh, I might need some backup here. Can you stick around? What do you want, Sakamoto? Takeshi? Nakaoka? What the hell? Are you guys gonna gang up on me? Nah. Do chill, I just wanna talk. Listen here. Listen, this is what's really going on with the track team. It'll be the rebirth of the track team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. And the best part is, not only are Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother's president of the PTA. But until then, he can show the others the value of obedience. This has to be a joke. Yamuchi said he'd make me the captain. Is this real? <laughs> it's Yamuchi's voice, ain't it? And on top of all that, things have gone down just as he said. Yamuchi's right. I don't have talent. I'm not like you guys. I ran so damn hard, but you two were always so far ahead. How's a guy like me supposed to succeed? How am I supposed to be proud of myself? Proud? My dad always talks about how proud he is of his son. He sold everyone I'd get a track scholarship like he did. That I follow in his footsteps as a second generation Tai C grad. That's why I listened to Yamuchi. He said if I was captain, he bring me a great letter of rest. Come on, man. So you trusted what he was saying about Nakaoka because of some stupid crap like that? Sh shut up! What does a thug like you know? You couldn't know how I feel. Nobody does. <laughs> like hell, I don't know. How long were we running together, huh? I know all the sorts of stuff <laughs> you went through. <sighs> Who are you living your life for? Your parents, teachers, society? Maybe you should stop trying to live for them and start trying to live for yourself. You know, you gotta betray people to be proud. You, 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 you think you gotta betray people to be proud? Well, well, I... If that's seriously what you think, you're wrong. Hey. Nakaoka, you knew something was up with Yamauchi too, didn't you? I mean, <laughs> he's, he's never been interested in track before. But you kept quiet. You knew he was walking all over you and you just let him. Yeah, I was afraid. Without Yamauchi, we still wouldn't have a team or a place to belong. I see. 
you miss running that bad? You know, it ain't so scary not having a place to belong. You can kind of be free that way. If anything, I'm more scared of being a crappy person. I mean, I used to be like you guys, afraid of lying to myself. That is, before I met this dude. I don't want to insult you guys or nothing, but I know you're probably real pissed about all this. So if you want to hit me or something, go ahead, I'm ready. In that case, if you insist. <laughs> I remember that! Huh? You're really doing it? You said it's okay, right? <laughs> Wait, hold on! <laughs> Ow, did you really have to keep swinging so hard? <laughs> I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better already. Uh, me too. I think I can finally put all this behind me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Oh, you want to bring back the track team? Hell yeah. <sighs> you saw that, right? That was some serious violence. <laughs> I like this option. You deserved it. Yeah, I guess this is all my fault to begin with. Well, either way, they're probably feeling better now. I think they're going to be just fine together. Thanks. All I did was watch. You can also say, are oh, you going to pay me back, but that only gives you two points. You're telling me. You just sat around when I got beat. <laughs> For real, though, you were to help. You were pushing me to be cool that whole time. <laughs> it's kind of like I was doing a sprint, and you were running next to me. Oh my god, this is the correct, this is the option that gives you the most points, but I really like this one. <laughs> I always use that, I, I know which one is which though. I just think this is the funny one. Brutal. Just forget about the beating I took, okay? <laughs> Endure. Chance to withstand an otherwise fatal attack when HP remains. Right. That includes instant kill uh, skills. All right then, let's go. Anyway, let's head home. I think my mouth's bleeding, so we'll have to eat some other time. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Fine, I'll just go get ramen on my own. Yeah, okay, dude, it's me. Thanks for the help today. Ah, man, my jaw's still kind of messed up, but it's a good kind of pain, you know. Like just after a workout. They're gonna have to handle the rest, but I think they'll they'll make the right call. Seeing them having a real heart-to-heart -heart talk, they got a good team. So, case closed. I hope so. Still a long way from how things used to be, but I did all I could. Man, if those guys are really gonna go for it, I gotta step up my own game. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna up my pace. So you better be ready for it. K okay, later. More of this Medjet stuff? Dude, we're really running out of time here. People are, are getting even more restless online too. Are we done for if we lose here? I don't even want to think about that possibility right now. Indeed, those, those who once revered us as heroes now seem to revile us. <sighs> Calm down, guys. Code is right. Sorry for messing with you all about such weird stuff. It's okay, we all feel the same way. Try to make sure I don't blow my cover. That should be all. Well, it sounds like it, but considering how fast the days are closing in, the best thing we can do for now is stay calm. I mean, to be fair, we only have four days. And not even that at this point. So I, I can't call Kalakami. I think she's locked at a certain time. Hi. Yeah. Iwa. Shima. Aha! Yefume! Perfection! Hey, it's available. You just gotta go for it, you know? What a downpour! Although, my thinking is sharper on rainy days. It's raining too hard today. The noise is making it hard to focus. Do you remember our promise? You become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. In order to do so, I would like you to start off by learning the basis of Shogi. Look forward to it. Oh, look, I look forward to this match. Well, I'm gonna walk around. 
Let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll start. Vanguard of my Togo kingdom, go forth to the front lines. Trample upon them all. You think to protect yourself with that paltry defense? <laughs> Useless. Awaken dragon, let your shadowy hellfire consume them all. Dark infernal rook. Can you hear them? The wailing of dying soldiers echoing throughout the battlefield. With an incompetent king, a soldier cannot show off his true bravery. Time for you to suffer. <laughs> At last, everything is in place. My right hand trembles as I release my full power. I summon four forbidden moves that shall bring your end. Ultimate Excalibur attack. Check. <sighs> ah, I did it again. It's an embarrassing habit I have. During a match, I uh, I tend to get very aggressive, as if I assume the role of a queen of the ki of a kingdom. <laughs> That's interesting. It it is. You're a strange one indeed. My father had me do image training exercises when I was younger to help me learn the rules. I gradually began to view Shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for my uh, subjects. However, I heard that people make fun of me on the internet. <laughs> people think I'm weird or that or uh, that I'm an otaku or that I'm just crazy. I mean, I s can't blame them, certainly. I think I'm weird too. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Yes. Your positivity is your positivity. Positivity. High English is a welcome relief. I may be able to learn more from our matches than I thought. <laughs> but by the way, um, you, you only get like four points per turn uh, in, this, in this one. So. All right. That will do for today. Oh. Oh, there's something I wanted to mention. Do you read weekly magazines? Well, uh, I'm doing a photo shoot for one. But you don't want to, right? You're quite perceptive. Oh, well, at least we'll rank up. I thought you'd be surprised if you saw it on the newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. In all honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But if I can draw more attention to Shogi, maybe this board will become more popular. At least that's how I'm justifying it to myself. I have an interview scheduled for tonight as well, so let's end here for today. You know, one point of knowledge. As useless as one point is, it's still something. Until next time. And you see how many points it is when I'm getting two and three. <laughs> Just to rank up. At one point, does not do much. Anymore. I just did plants not too long ago. Let's see. Did Josh Makoto today? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, she's the only one. She's the only one. I can't really do anything else about that. So we're just gonna roll with it. Anyway, this will put us at rank right, three, so. Uh, Alright, she's priestess. I think I have my. Uh, yeah. Uh, well. Let's see how to Thank you. It will be nice to have you there when I talk to her. Let's do it in the student council room. I'll leave the back entrance open for you. Hmm. Excuse me. Ikotaka-san, you've been spending time in the red light district lately, haven't you? Both myself and Cody Kun here saw you there. Based on where you were headed, we assume you're working at a store called the After School Salon. How is it working there? What do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. They make me wear a costume and stuff, but that's it. And I don't have to do anything weird, if you know what I mean. It's all totally legal. <laughs> <laughs> So you sure nothing strange is going on? Yep. The worst I get is some weird old guys gawking at me. I see. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How is your financial situation? Uh, fine. I mean, I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Uh, oh, I see. 
but they totally bug me about what I'm buying if I did that. So that's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money, plus the guys who come in there, like, mega pamper me. <sighs> mega pamper. It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know? I'm sure a super honest student like you gets that all the time, though. Anyways, are you gonna, are you gonna tell on me? You even bought a witness today. Hold up. Doesn't that mean you were in Shinjuku together? What's up with that, Miss Press? <laughs> yes. Right. It was nothing more than Aaron I asked him to accompany me on. At any rate, I don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Oh, I get it. So we're like protecting each other's secrets? <sighs> oh crap, I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. <laughs> I told you, that's not how it is. I was just worried you were getting wrapped up in some shady business, so I asked him here for support. Mm, eh, whatever. By the way, I was wondering, is that a beauty mark in pencil case? Mm -hmm. Huh? You know? Ah, oh, shoot. Is that thing still there? Uh, the... What's the... Uh... Uh, I'll, I'll look after um, after this, and then I'll remember. I'll be able to show you if it's there. Uh, I had like a ton of beauty stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast from the past! Wait, why is it so beat up? Well, it was given to me when I was still in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they stopped selling uh, beauty mark and merchandise. Oh my God, this is too hilarious! Soon you got a president as an adorable pencil case. My image of you has done like a complete 360 today. Uh, isn't that a full circle? Mm, I don't know. I'm just real surprised. <laughs> oh my god. Another airhead. You don't really look like the kind of person who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess I just had to get to know you better. <laughs> hey, why don't we trade phone numbers? I really want to talk to you more about... Uh, okay. And, <laughs> and your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, um... Wait, he's not my boyfriend. <laughs> and say, Oh crap, it's this late? Already? <laughs> I've got to get to work. I'll send you to the victim of my Michi Mario collection later, though. Bye! Hmm. <sighs> she was all over the place. Honestly, though, I'm still in shock. She thought I was a robot. <laughs> the best option is the one that gives you no points, though. <laughs> I remember this one. I love it. Beep boop. <laughs> that is actually the kind of response I would give to the situation. <laughs> but it doesn't do anything. I know because I've clicked it before. Because it's the actual kind of response I would give in this situation. I feel like almost every resp every jokey response should give you at least one point. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know this one gives you, and this one is the best one. All right, I know, I know. Yes. I've beaten this game like five to six times. No, that's I, I've beaten him. I've beaten him. I've, I've beaten him more than that. Just not royal. <laughs> yes, that's why you're helping me. Hmm. You know, I believe what Taka Takasan said about me is how others think as well. I thought I had changed after the incident with Kaneshiro, but perhaps I wasn't enough. And that aside, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I'm going to try to look at things a little differently from now on. Well. And well, I, I think that will help me break out of my shell. I hope you're ready. I'm going to show you how useful an honor student can really be. But we'll talk. If negotiating with a martial arts using shadow fails, you can try again. All right. I doubt we see that very often. Just saying. If only they can be used on the sidelines when they're not in the party party. I'll be interested to speak with the Takasan some more now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I can correct her misconceptions about you. And as always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. I'll see you later.
still can't unlock tower yet either. <laughs> Hello, thanks for sitting with me. It really did help. I got a message from Taka San. Taka Taka. Taka Taka. I don't. How do you say that name? Eh, I don't care. Turns out she, been sent, she turned out to be quite the fan of Kichimaroken. It was crazy to see a picture of her entire collection. She even has a bunch of Kichimaroken emoticons. That's, uh. That's fun. Sounds like you get along. Huh? Yeah, I, I guess you're right. I didn't expect a bond over something like this, though. Pretty shocked, to be honest. Yeah, the honor student in an airhead. Perfect combination. <coughs> okay. Though I'm still a little worried about that store she works at. I'll try a little harder to get through to her about it. I might come to you for more advice later. For now, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Hey, so Drew, how you doing? Uh, Chini Uchinia. Sweet, we should be able to get her up to nine. Um, you know what? I don't even think I have that spot unlocked. I don't think it unlocks until after, um, until after Futaba. Yeah, it's it's the like electronics hub area. It's this little machine. You know how like, you got like gumball machines and stuff. It's the same thing. But there's these little like toy things that come out and stuff like that. Nah. Is this? I sense you have trouble with women. Hmm. There's a woman. In a oh, okay. It should get us to rank nine. Where I'm gonna have to say I'm not really that interested in you. Though she doesn't really ask, I don't think. I just know I'm supposed to say I like having my fortune read instead of like so I can be with you. I'm basically saying I just like being here. <laughs> and so I got all the members of the ADP together and gave them a group apology. I mean, unless you want to date her, then you can just say, I want so I can be with you. Unlike her, unlike most other people, you you don't have to go through some series of saying the right answers to get to date her. You say the right answer one time, and she's like, yay! <laughs> they didn't really believe what I was saying at first, but the truth of the matter settled in eventually. It's just... However, it seems like the members from the executive class are so brainwashed. I'm in talks with a lawyer right now, though. We're going to get refunds and outpatient care for all of them. I'm going to give back all the money I made from selling Holy Zones, too. It's the least I can do to atone for the ignorance I showed back then. That's why I want you to accept this, Gaming Son. Think of it not as, not only as an apology, but a sign of gratitude for helping me see the truth. Ah, <sighs> my money. I was waiting to get that back for quite a while, actually. That's the other reason why it's important to <laughs> get her up. I should give you back your money. <laughs> Maiden, I'm so happy to see you. What? Yo, cutter son what are you all doing here? That apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody had to have forced you to say that stuff. I mean, the chairman was obviously framed. Tell us the truth, please. No. Um, none um, of it was made up. As for the chairman, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in those seminars was a lie. The promise of a great future, the power of the holy stones, and the need for donation. All lies. Doesn't it seem strange that he kept asking members for money even through times of financial stress? And beyond that, you guys should have known better than anyone where those donations were ending mm -hmm. up. Even I knew how terrible the ADP scheme was. That's why I had to come forward. N no, that can't be true. You, are you the one who did this to our beautiful maiden? <laughs> hey, why don't you listen? Shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. Don't make me get up off this chair. <laughs> Please don't do this. He has nothing to do with your situation. I'm the one who sold you those rocks. If you're going to get upset with anyone, it should be me. Aiden. This can't be helped. Or happening. It was happening. No, we must continue to place our trust in her. Please, Maiden, cleanse up of our misery. If you leave us now, we will be fated to drown in sorrow. 
look, look, the only way you can change that is with your own convictions. Neither I nor those worthless stones will be able to help you. But then, how are we supposed to avoid our fate and misery? No, our curse is upon us. Maiden, please! <sighs> oh, will you shut your traps? Y'all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Oh, our accent came out. Whether you're going to be miserable or not is your own is is on your own damn shoulders. You don't need some divine power mumbo jumbo to change your fate. Y'all got that strength in yourselves. Fortune telling can't hold a candle to honest to goodness willpower. And heck, even if things are bad now, it'll all be fine so long as you keep your heads up. Oh, um. Uh oh, I'm sorry about that. All the stress caused me to lapse into my country dialect. <laughs> but I stand by what I said. Nothing will ever change if all you do is rely on others. Take me for example. I thought I was destined to live as a monster, but I had the strength to reverse that fate. If you want to control your futures, that's all you need. Strength. The only way forward is through the fortitude of your own heart. My heart? It might not be the easiest thing to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly suppressed by all those seminars and donations. Partially to blame I'm here for that. With you. But that's why I need to show you the light now and help you push on. No, I'm not your maiden anymore. I'm Chinya Mifune, the fortune teller who guides fate. <sighs> I wonder if Yokosan and the others will be okay. I know how they feel, though. They just want to cling onto the Holy Stones, just as I clung onto my role as a main. All any of us ever wanted to be, all any of us ever wanted was to be happy, to avoid our fates. Well, they can be changed. Oh, we're already where we could rank up, but shoot. <laughs> uh... Right. I did it, so I'm sure Yoko-san and the others will be able to as well. No matter how many times I have to try, I will talk to them until they understand. And when they realize the difficult truth, I will be there to help them recover. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here they refer, they revere me as the maiden. Even now, my heart continues to wander. Yet you somehow saw the real me, not the maiden, not a monster. Just Chinya. I mean, son, thank you. <laughs> Rank nine. All right. Now I can get rid of Clotho. <laughs> By the way, Gaming Son, has anyone told you you're a bit nosy? I mean, normally someone wouldn't think to involve themselves in such a strenuous ordeal. Um. So, so, um, it's actually something I've been wondering for a while now. Is fortune telling the only reason you come to see me? It's not, is it? Um. You see that message? I should choose my words carefully. You see that? Is that there? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> why, why do you come here? I like having my fortune read. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry, I suppose I was just feeling a bit self-conscious. But... but there's nothing better than knowing my readings help others. And please come, have your fortune read as often as you'd like. After all, we'll forever be joined in our quest to oppose fate. Well then. Anyway, I should be going. Until next time. I actually don't get why people don't like her. I mean, sure, she doesn't like stand out as anything super special, but she's not bad. I don't I mean her whole path is just mm, yeah. I guess it's just it's just not like like Super interesting. It's decently interesting. Oh, it's me. Sorry for calling you so soon. I know we just saw each other. There's something I really wanted to tell you. You're the reason I managed to talk to you, Yokata san and everyone. I plan on doing all I can to support everyone at the ADP for a while. If you're in any trouble, please feel free to for a consolation anytime. Great. Please, I want to help you carve a path to your future. Ah, uh, shoot. That's Chinya Mifune, fortune teller of an emissary of fate. Oops, I guess I sounded a little too full of myself just then. Maybe I'm not a monster or a maiden, I'm just Chinya. So, if you're ever in trouble, remember you can always come to me, okay? 
Well, good night and sweet dreams. Huh. Hey, I might be able to get rid of the one from the Death Arcana as well. Talk about your two for one. I'm just saying. If you can't tell the ones that I'm going for, I'm sorry. Um, oh, 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 ha, ha, hmm, that's a, that's a tricky. <laughs> Just add this. Yeah, dang it. <laughs> it's either it was, it was either getting a hurt in nine or maxing out. If I can max this out, I'm not I'm not gonna bother with the doctor. Well, I think I'm already capped with Kasumi. Like I, I think I'm legitimately capped with Kasumi. Like I do not know what the point would be of getting out with her actually now that I think about it. What I just realized she's in front of the sweet shop. Huh. It's an anime move there. Hmm. That's actually a um Is there is there any point? Like does it unlock more um Hmm. Nah, I'm not even gonna bother to try it. Think about it. We're just gonna go and uh, bah, bah, bah. doctor it is. Doctor it is. We've made decisions, and we're going to act on decisions. Actually, that means I don't have to keep a persona of the Faith Arcana on me either. Who do I have? Phoenix. Phoenix, you can go. Thank you for your faithful service. Um. So of course you can go. Don't pass out, okay? I mean, I didn't come because I saw your message. I just came because you were available. I didn't. I actually didn't pay attention to the message, even though I opened it. <laughs> I, I was go. I was paying attention. I didn't even skim through it. I just kind of clicked Here. the button. All the data, specimens, and sample medicine, they're all inside that case. Let me know if you need anything else. Based on what I read in the finding summary you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform one final exam with our equipment and we'll be ready to treat me much on with it. Excellent. The rest is up to you. So, this is the kid from your study, hmm? <laughs> yes, he's my little guinea pig. You certainly walked into you certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. Please put some thoughts into the offer we discussed, will you? Alright, I'll call you later. He's the doctor treating me with John. He just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All this thanks to you helping me with the clinical trials. It was rough. <laughs> I bet. Although it was really fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> From my tour of their medical facility and discussions, I had their development team. Wait, what? I had with. I was like, something fell off with that sentence. I'm confident this will be a success and they'll complete developmental schedule. The final results will be out of my hands, though. If they, if I don't accept their offer, that is. Hmm. I was recruited. 
He offered me a position of head of research and development at his hospital, which means I'd have to close my practice. I start first thing next month. Unfortunately, the Takimi Clinic of Internal Medicine will be gone. And patients. I'll urge my patients to transfer to that hospital. And I'm, I'll be sure to give them priority there. <laughs> <laughs> you seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> the part about being recruited is true, but I don't intend to close my practice. It's kind of like being a general practitioner. I kind of like being a general practitioner. I st I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. One of the medicines, once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see Miyamachan and receive my reward. Her smile. Meh. Oh. I need to give you your reward, too. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up his end of the deal. You were really concerned when you thought I was going to close this office. I know you said it was for your entrance exam, but come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay, hey. you can tell me. Why did you keep coming to me? Why don't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? Hey, I'm just saying. She, uh... You literally have to click the, the option three times before she'll believe you. I remember the sequence of events. If you click this, you just move on like nothing happened. Click this, she questions you, you say I love you, and then she doesn't, still doesn't believe you, you have to say it isn't a joke. <laughs> it's just like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I can take a hint. It's funny how she just wanted you to say something and then just doesn't believe you. <laughs> it's getting late. You should get going. Come visit any time. It was either that or she was confused. I remember the answers, but I don't remember the, like, line. And answers are easier to remember because it's so many less few words. Unless I click them often. Hey, Gindy Pick. Thanks for tagging along today. So I got the drug in my hands, uh, I got the drug in the hands of someone I trust. Everything's on track for a cure to go through. And something tells me, I'd never have gone this far without you. You don't say. Thanks for doing this. You stuck by me even when no, one of those side effects could have killed you. You really are the best guinea pig I could have hoped for. I'm glad we saw it through. Well, it's... it's still needs some tests and adjusting before it's ready for actual treatment still needs a lot of work but I have faith that someday soon it'll be able to help me watch on and I haven't forgotten all you did to help I'll make sure to bump up your little conversation your conversation a little I'm gonna hang up now we're done with the clinical trials but you can drop by anytime you need some more medical supplies might as well keep Getting checkups too. Better safe than sorry, right? I'll look at whatever you need me to. Okay. Rain, huh? And that's that out of the way. This means I can get rid of the death icon. Day. Hey. Uh, aquarium batting science. This gives me more from. Let's get to the Make fishing sure spot. Up. At least this will unlock the fishing spot, I believe. Which means we can start going there when we have the free time. 
All right. Plus, you get points there too for catching fish and stuff like that. But you can only fish a certain number of times a day, etc. I don't fully remember the fishing spot. I didn't do it, but. All right, this is our last day. Nice. Let's do it. What are we gonna do? All right, let's see who's available so we can see where we need to start moving through. Yuji's available. That's a that's a good one. Actually, Ryuji's the only one available. Well, no, Makoto's available. I take it back. Yeah, he's probably over at the arcade. I'm just, I'm still kind of surprised and not surprised at the same time that I got everybody else to nine before Ryuji to nine. What's up, bro? Hey. All right, let's go. You're a lifesaver, dude. I'm feeling real hungry, so let's get some moan, some manja while we talk. It's on me. Man, I'm stuffed. Pretty damn good, huh? This one's all me. Don't expect it to happen too often, though. Mm -hmm. Wait. Where's my wallet? Eh, whatever. Oh, bruh. Hey. Oh, by the way, I got a text from Takeshi. He said track team's gonna try ditching Yamauchi. They wanna start practicing without him. They're trying to get their old coach back, too. The one from before Kamoshida. Looks like they're finally walking their own path. Are you satisfied now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. We're already able to rank up and well Actually. maybe not. I couldn't really see the sparkles. But I think so. Uh, and they they asked me to come back to the team. <laughs> oh wow. Don't do it. Nah. Dude. Yeah, it looks like we will. Dude, I wasn't gonna. I felt kinda bad, but that's not where I belong now. When you first came to Shujin, people were talking so much about you. But you took it in stride. You just did whatever you thought was cool. And didn't care what other people said about you. I think that's why people kind of get poor towards you, man. Wherever you decide to be, that's where you belong. I never realized that. Hmm? Seriously? You know, back before I met you, I kept making excuses for why I couldn't fit in. It was always because of someone else. Kamoshida, the track team, hell, I even blame my dad. <sighs> I was such a freaking loser. But I've realized, as long as I'm being myself, I'll always have somewhere I can fit in. It ain't really the same place as before, but it's damn good. I'm just glad I found it. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, those are the rank up stars. <laughs> Don't worry, man. There's a place here for you, too. Right next to me. Or maybe ahead. Uh, something like that. Rank nine. Protect. Chance to shield Jogger from an otherwise fatal attack. All right. Having all of that and Futaba's thing, <laughs> Jogger usually should not be able to die. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop training though. So like, if all your teammates have protect, and then you have Futaba's um thing that adds a shield, it can, it can kill you. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop training though. I've still got a long way to go. Someday, I'm going to show you speed so lightning fast, you're not even going to be able to see me. And how are you going to show it to me? Ah, I commented on it. <laughs> Wait, but if you can't see me, am I really showing you anything? <laughs> eh, whatever. I think we've been talking too long. We're all out of manja. Want to try grilling some toothpicks? <laughs> Want to head back? Yo, get this. Earlier I got a call from Nakaoka and them earlier telling me that track team's officially going to be restored. They're apparently keeping Yamauchi as their advisor for now, but it's cool. Sounds like we got him under control. Better watch out for them. Nah, they're not even close to catching up to me. Besides, I'm going to be training my own, on my own. Got to beat my old time from the old days. Hmm. But yeah, we can let the track team handle the rest of their problems. They got to do the running from now on. Hey, I'm not going to let my guard down now. I ain't about to lose to them. Okay, I'm going to go for another run. Keep on bonking. What kind of... Okay. Keep on 
bonking. Get out of here. Well then. You made a promise with Futaba, right? I'm sure she'll pull through. How's Futaba? I haven't heard anything. Dude, this ain't just some normal sleeping, oversleeping stuff. Our deadline is tomorrow. If Futaba's not up by then, but can she really even do anything even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. Oh, that's right. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Hmm, dreams are said to be the sorting of memories after all. She surely needed ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? You think she's really facing all of that right now? If that's the case, she would probably need a great amount more time to do so. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I believe in Futaba. Yes, indeed. Well, just give us a ring if anything changes. We're counting on you. To agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? I'm just saying. She was asleep for like 27 days. <laughs> Let's see. Um, ah, our our old boy, Ketchikun. That feels weird. Oh, I can get rid of my chariot, uh, Arcana persona now. See, I'm just clearing them out. So now I have slots for actual personas. Or other confidant slots. Uh, either one works. I'm in anyone for Empress. I'm in anyone for Emperor. Um, do I have a hero phone with me? No, oh, it doesn't matter. I don't plan on really nicing that out this time. You'd like to read here. Oh, that's Judge. I'm in the wrong place. Justice is what I'm looking for. You'll withdraw this principality. Persona. Okay. Done already. What? It is time, inmate. Hey, I might even be able to start playing billiards with people. I'm probably not going to get to really do that in the first game, though, just because... Well, we'll see. I might have some more free days now that certain people are maxed out. Hi. And it depends on how long it takes. You went to that cafe with Yojizawa the other day. I, it's been getting quite a lot of bu quite a bit of buzz lately, you know? I was hoping we could assess some things over tea. But, unfortunately, my television appearance has earned me the attention of a rather extreme fan base. As far as they're concerned, anyone in my company must meet their standards of intelligence and attractiveness. If not, well, they take it to social media, denouncing and harassing the people in question. I wouldn't wish that on you. That's just dumb. I miss what it said. But you, I expect your pass muster easily. Oh. What do you want to do? Well, that was the whole idea. To be up right now. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna walk around. Okay. <laughs> the cake here is fairly popular. I've been wanting to try it myself. <laughs> Got a sweet tooth, huh? Well, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not exactly partial to them. I like me some sweets. That's tend to be fairly similar. So I'm more curious about its popularity than its taste. Well, why don't we give it a try? Hmm. It was quite it was, nice. Huh, it was delicious after all. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Hey, look! Is that him? Oh, you mean the guy who's on TV these days? Who's he arguing with? Oh, who was he again? Uh, wasn't his name Akechikan? You know, the next generation detective friends. Should we ask for an autograph? Might be something worth bragging about. Uh oh. Looks like I've been spotted. <laughs> I should have figured. Huh. Oh, she's just here for the cake, I'm guessing. I'm sure she doesn't mean any harm, but I don't want to cause any trouble for the store. Huh? Is someone important here? 
Who is it? <gasps> is it a celebrity? Looks like I'm out of time. I wish I could have relaxed a little longer, though. We should go. Why the rush? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I think it's best to leave. I'm only going to cause problems if I stay. Shame, I don't have glasses like you. Maybe I would be able to get out of this situation. How about we find out? Uh, hold on hey, a moment. What are you... back. This time, I'll get an autograph for it. Hey, is that boy really a Kachikin? You know, now that I see him up close, I'm not sure. Maybe you were seeing things. I don't remember the show too well, but I'm pretty sure he didn't look like that. Oh, if he was a real thing, I could have bragged about meeting him. I can't believe you actually did that. I suppose I'd better learn to watch what I say around you. I should have taken a picture. <laughs> Are you familiar with the legal right of portrait? Or privacy, perhaps? Still, there's no knowing how things may go unless you give it a try, hmm? Thank you. I think I've learned a valuable lesson. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Looks like our coffee's gone cold. Why don't we order new ones? I'll see you I'll later. See you next time. Just gotta learn how to work around the situation and catch it. Come on. Oh, it's a shame our discussion was interrupted today. I was rather enjoying having a breather with you. But you can't. You certainly surprised me today. I can't believe we got out of that with such a basic trick. It was an interesting experience, but I definitely don't want to go through that ordeal ever again. I saw firsthand what happens when I'm too careless with my words around you. <laughs> Wasn't it fun? <laughs> you have a twisted concept of fun. Though, if you dressed as me next time, I think I might agree. I could use the stunt double. <laughs> you and I aren't terribly different in height. I'm sure my clothes would fit you. If we do this, it'll have to be carefully planned, of course. I'll be dictating everything from hair to accessories. Nobody would notice the switch, I'm sure. We proved it today. Most people can't see beyond the superficial. Whoops, I've got an early start tomorrow, so I'll have to excuse myself. See you soon. Hmm. I should never should have trusted I should have never trusted the Phantom Thieves. What's gonna happen tomorrow? When are they gonna react? Today is supposed to be the day. Midget's attacking, right? I guess there's nothing the fans of these could do. Midget must have been too much for them. Stock prices are plummeting again. Maybe Midget's true goal was. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Midget? Utah yes, it is. Still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. I'm just saying. What's up? There's something I came to do. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Huh, I forgot the detail. But I did not forget the detail that's coming up. Taba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. I, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. 
Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, I mean, it was her, her research. Death as suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously, <sighs> That's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? He's both healed her own. I agree. I'm waiting for it to happen, but... And Belle. Futaba? this no, no, never mind that but uh, how did you get here uh i walked you're okay was that bad <laughs> that, that's not it i'm just shocked to see you out of the house uh i'm sorry i worried you <laughs> it's all right by the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hey, Jed. Oh, that's it. Let's take care of it now. Come. Apparently some ATMs aren't working. I heard someone's tampering with the system. Is it magic? No, it couldn't be. What are the police doing? They're so incompetent. Even the Phantom Thieves couldn't stop them. Yeah. <laughs> it's my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? Oh, it's up to you. My, my always choose just eliminate them huh. violent much hey Futaba we don't have much time left are you sure you could do this the, the kitty talked is this a dream I'm going back to sleep it is not a dream get up say something he's a talking cat dang right. it I was hoping they gave me the option to say something <laughs> It doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? She can't hear you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba! <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Futaba. Oh, you'd be amazed you how really clean your insane room her thing. focus is. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Whew. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. Nope. <sighs> We'll just have to keep waiting. Huh. Is that a, a server right here in that corner? Hmm. I thought it was a refrigerator right here for a while. I just noticed. The, the lights in there, they they look like servers. <sighs> I'm done! Uh, what's up? Something happened? 
It's finished. Finished? What is? Ah, it's so clean. Why? <laughs> See, she didn't even know she was cleaning we it. We cleaned room. it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. <laughs> I don't understand, but this is good. <laughs> Futaba? Hey, Futaba, no. what's wrong? She's out. She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too. Hmm. Yeah, they're done. <clears throat> I heard the bank servers got taken over. That has to be fake, right? There's no way. I'm scared. What's going to happen? Are the police taking action? They're ignoring it? Seriously? Still, I'm sure the fans of these will do something. Well, it's night. So far, nothing has happened. So Futaba's awake? Awesome! And has Meiji been taken care of? Or, more importantly, how's Futaba doing? And she's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say much to blame her at all. She slept for 27 days. <laughs> if Meiji's... Or 25. If Meiji's been affected, it will surely make the news. And that should be enough to confirm whether or not the deed's been done. Then why don't we all watch the news together? Yes, we should set up. We should meet up at LeBlanc as usual. We should be in the clear now, right? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it'd be better if we just stayed in today. Oh, you want to do it? You know what? I could. Or. Make sure you uh, close up, up another attraction. The reason I want to also open up the attractions is for Man. the twins. Plus, there are more spots to go and hang out with people. Nearby Hotel has an aquarium inside. All right. Oh, that's close. I never had this before. I wonder if it's new to Royal. I never did read all the books. Midget must be bored. Slam the hammer of justice. Name dropping Midget. <laughs> uh, what's this? Are you serious? No way. I can't believe it. This isn't a joke, is it? They lost? How could this happen? <clears throat> They're so surprised. Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? What up? What a time. So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Hey, I got no obligations here. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. What are you all smirking about? Pyramid of Wrath plundered. Hey, something great happened. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. Oh, After customers. the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers <laughs> are on summer vacation too. <laughs> Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still 10 days left. Yeah, the school go starts back up in we September. Can't just leave Futaba chan alone. Something still concerned me too. Like that 
research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Hmm. Next one should be... <clears throat> so the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. Yeah. If he's telling the truth, this then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Hey, I Does didn't get here. metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? The incident started occurring two years ago. I only just got here and the incidents were already happening before I got here. I did just move to this area. Which should pretty much put it that I'm not the one behind those incidents in the first place if you put any logic behind them. Earlier I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? No, he's really the criminal. How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> it's vastly different. Well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. Because motives play a big right. part. If that person is evil now, and it's all because of something time. that shouldn't have happened in the first place, then, um, <clears throat> it's completely different. And this is where things spiraled all the way downhill. Also, one of the more annoying dungeons, of one of the more annoying palaces to go through. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? To think the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. 
the environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futabachan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba. Is there anything else you can remember? She is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. <laughs> Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um... <laughs> What do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh, uh, so... Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. <laughs> I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba. That's why I say what do you Medjed want to was do never now? really a threat. Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. When <laughs> did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan <laughs> sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. <laughs> we do see that reaction. Thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea. I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? <laughs> Good luck. Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. Well, you are. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Mejid was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, 
The general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I heard things too. It's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from the Midget attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they would fear us for preventing it. Oh, it was close though. Yes, it's all thanks to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was not them. Oh, that reminds me. Remember that stuff about the 18 minute banks just stopping? That wasn't Medjet, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence. Either that, or those rumors were never true to begin with. Hmm. You seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. <laughs> pretty sure I... I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize to this guy. Me? Why? Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. A <laughs> hot night. Training Futaba is going to be a lot more work than stealing someone's heart. Now, that's my Phantom Thieves. I knew they'd pull it off. This definitely proves the justice of the Phantom Thieves. Are you sure? I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, they took Medjet down. Even the guys who had been criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire, too. I'll give it an extra boost on my side as well. I bet the improving rating will be through the roof tomorrow. Why is Look he, to of them. all people, getting excited about this? This is not the first time you've said this line. I'm pretty sure this was copy-pasted. Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. Well, I'll tell you what happens. Guess what? Mementos should have been creased. Anyway. Let's do it. That's gonna be an episode right there. So I hope you all, you guys all enjoyed it. Welcome, my English is broken again. Because that's all the time we have for this episode of Persona 5 Royal. If you like this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode.